Ah, uh, team building. Remember field days, tug of war, and trust falls? Back in the days when groups could actually gather, a lot of forms of group bonding involved physical collaboration. And while everything is more digital these days, there's still ways we can come together as a group. Mm, not like that. More like this. A lot of people all over the world coming together digitally to achieve, well, if not greatness, certainly a lot of fun. Weird online collaborations are one of my favorite uses of IoT. And these days, it can help us feel a little less isolated. My coworker Dom and I are helping out at an online conference called Codeland, where we have 15 minutes to entertain a digital audience. So what we have in mind is two teams pitted against each other in an epic digital tug of war with physical consequences controlling a Roomba. So like a Roomba battle or room battle. Room battle? Either way, we'll show you how to build it today on Built in a Day. So what if our audience got to come together from all over the world to play tug of war over the internet with a robot vacuum? We can split the audience into two teams, a red team and a blue team. The blue team's goal is to vacuum the blue confetti. The red team's goal, vacuum the red confetti. They should be able to text in commands to control the robot, which would receive the commands via Twilio's APIs and SIM card. With the radio controlled Roomba in the center, it could be a tug of war between teams controlled over the air from all over the world. This is a pretty big build and not gonna lie, it's gonna take a while. But much like Rome, epic room battles were not built in a day. But our hope is now that we've done the heavy lifting for you, you can do it even faster. For example, as long as you already have the code and materials, this part right here isn't too crazy. The best part of the 500 series is that it's hackable. So this is a 585 Roomba, one of two. Um, on my other one, I actually already drilled a little hole into it. So you can see that in the cover from a previous hack. If you don't have a hole though, you can take the faceplate off and either way you'll be able to access this serial port. Then you can take a few wires and use them to connect the dev board to the Roomba. The board and the Roomba have to find common ground or they won't be able to talk to each other, much like people. So basically what we're doing is making a little Roomba parasite that's gonna control the Roomba. We have to give it code that'll tell the Roomba how to drive. If we use a cellular connected dev board with SuperSim, we can make an API layer that sends commands from the internet. And maybe we should also stop calling it a parasite and instead make it into a hat. That's less scary. So now we have a Roomba and you can control it over the internet, but we don't yet have a way for people to text in commands to the Roomba or for them to see what commands have been sent. For that part, I'm gonna pass it off to my coworker, Dom. Since the event is happening around the world, we wanted to support both SMS as well as WhatsApp. And people should be able to text on a variety of inputs as well as choose their own team. Additionally, we want to show the commands on the screen alongside with the profile picture of the user. And obviously it should control the Roomba. We will use Twilio's autopilot to create a bot that will handle all sorts of input and will interpret it based on tasks and samples we trained it on. Yes, we're using a robot to control a robot. I mean, what could go wrong? If the autopilot bot recognizes a command for the Roomba, we'll trigger some code inside a Twilio function. This code will check which team the person is on or ask the person which team they want to be on. It will then call out to Christine's API to control the Roomba and will write the command to a Twilio sync list to display it in a browser window. Lastly, let's create a user interface that will display the incoming messages for a given team from the Twilio sync list. We can then use the web UI to add it to our stream overlay so everyone can see the incoming messages. All right, the code is finished and deployed. And uh, if the user texts any of our numbers, the Roomba should move and the command should show on the screen. No epic room battle would be complete without an announcer, and we've got one of the best on our team. Secretly, I have always wanted to be a sports commentator. So when they asked me if I would be an announcer for their Roomba battle at an online conference, how can I say no to that? Let's do it. Let's get ready to Roomba! The blue confetti has gone all over the place. Given where we are at right now, I'm gonna count this as a point for the blue team. Looks like we're only a couple inches away from the blue team scoring a second point. The red team is really gonna need to get it turned around. Oh, Nom Nom is turning towards the red confetti, denying the blue team of an instant win here. There it is, we've got two points scored. One to one, blue versus red. Nom Nom dangerously getting close to the blue confetti. Who's it gonna be? Blue team, are they gonna bring it home? Is red team gonna be able to cause it to go backwards? I don't think so. I think Nom Nom has definitely consumed a fair share of blue confetti today. How do you like that? The blue team is the winner 
of the Codeland IoT Tug of War Challenge by scoring two points. And that's the end. Our room battle is complete with the blue team coming out on top. All right, this was so much fun. Granted, it could have been a bit more fun if my team, the red team, would have won, but I'm trying not to be a sore loser here and instead celebrate the fact that we just controlled a Roomba in Christine's room collectively from around the world. I really should learn to say no more, but honestly, when some of these things come up, they're just impossible to say no to. I think my favorite part of this whole thing was that we built it, so now we can use it anytime in a bunch of different situations. And also that, you know, we've made the room battle, which sets the precedent for other Roomba portmanteaus like room valet. <laughs> I do have two of them. Tune in next time. Maybe we'll build an entire room ballet, start a room business, or do another room battle. But in the meantime, you can check out this cool video.